L.A. Noir, the 2011 game that put you in the shoes of a detective, trying to figure out who's telling the truth and who's lying. But what if you don't want to be in the shoes of a detective? Hey there, friends. My name is Kevin, and I have the solution. Do you think this is a good idea? Don't bet on it. You're out of your mind! I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it! Oh, well, I'm sorry I absolutely destroyed it. Why does he just have the receipt for the car on his person at all times? You know what? Me and the 8-Ball don't believe you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Okay, that seems pretty truthful, but let's see what my partner has to say. The stars say no. Well, if the stars say no, it must be a lie. The problem is with lie, I have to present some evidence. Evidence. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not lying. <laughs> he is stone-faced. I'll use the receipt that he has from the car to prove that he stole it. Hope the LAPD has good legal representation. We don't. In fact, my partner is actually our legal counsel as well. He's not great at it. So you chase me around the streets and then you don't even tell me why? <laughs> He's just screaming right into my face. Okay, what about your motive for flight? You have a criminal record? No. Nothing like that. Oh yeah, we'll see what the eight ball has to say. So it shall be. Wise words. Okay, well I guess that's just the truth then. We'll believe you. <laughs> I've gotten them all wrong so far. Okay, what about the purchase details? Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Seems a little too convenient. What do you think, eight ball? <laughs> Answer unclear, ask later. Okay, I'll be back for you later. Come on, let's go on a nice, like, little date, and then we'll come back. Look at this for romantic. I took him to a nice hillside to just enjoy the president's speech on the radio. And look at that view, huh? <laughs> Don't even ask me how I got up here, okay? Now I just have to get down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I fear we might be stuck. <laughs> All right. Well, then. <laughs> that works, I suppose. Best go back and ask him now. It's been a few hours. Okay, sorry we left you waiting so long, sir. Now let's see what the eight ball thinks. Very likely. Haha! -ha! You're telling the truth. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Oh my god, he's so agitated. Well, we did leave him waiting for like five hours. Well, we got one correct. Good job, 8-Ball. And have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Oh yeah, the driving thing. I was gonna say, why are they arresting him? But yeah, he was, he was all over the road. Wait, now that I think about it, I think I was the one who was recklessly driving. There we go, when I'm through with you, the stolen car will be ruined. Oh, and that person will also be dead. Hello, I need a new car. Mine is stuck on a cliff. Not another step. Oh, sorry, I took another step. Oops, that's another one. Oop, that's another one. Some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh, that must be how it is for you <laughs> with my jokes. Should I let you know every time I tell a joke? Walk this way. <laughs> Oh, this guy's wacky. If he was born in the 90s, he'd be a YouTuber for sure. Okay, he's got the receipts for the damn car. Gene Archer. But it's not for that guy who I interrogated. What's this? <laughs> it's just a used tissue that the guy has had on his desk. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Oh, wait, it was legit? Oh, I'm a terrible detective. I should leave everything to the eight ball. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Okay, here comes my excellent interrogation skills. And by that I mean I'm shaking the eight ball, all right? I'm ready. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Did she though? Don't bet on it. I don't think I have any evidence, but I'm straight calling that a lie. You're lying. You buy stolen cars and then resell them. That's quite a leap. <laughs> Son, you are more mixed up than a feather in a hurricane. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's my partner, the eight ball. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26? A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Unlikely. Okay, that just seemed like an accurate description of a person. He has no reason to lie about this, but, um, lie. <laughs> There's no Jean Archer. She's fictional. To cover up the fact that you sold a stolen He's car. He's filling in a lot of gaps himself How long here. did you say you'd been standing out in the sun? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, this isn't bleached. I just stood out there all day. I have literally no proof for this. All right, I'm just going to show him um, the receipt <laughs> for some reason. Go away, son. You're starting to bother me. Starting? <laughs> Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? Oh, God, he's definitely lying. But what does the eight ball thing prospect good? Oh, of course it does. <laughs> of course. It says marquee printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on a Wait, actually, was that, it was right. Good job, 8-Ball. Very good. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. <laughs> no. Okay, let me guess, 8-Ball. He's telling the truth. Well, to be fair, you've been right once. You might be right again. Oh, no. 
you're, you're doing that weird thing where it's the top of the triangle. It's like it's pointing at me <laughs> to take the guess. But no, that's not going to happen. Cannot foretell now. Okay, with any of these, I'm going to say doubt. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? And by that, I mean Cole gets angry for no reason. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Yeah, this was a weird interaction, but that was actually correct at the end. It really didn't seem like it from all the yelling. This car is just for sale and I'm just taking it. The sign is still on it and everything. Can I still drive? It? I can. Oh, That's that amazing. Is. It's not my fault. That was the sign. I couldn't it see it. Car 11K. Car 11K. Come in. Just trying to call me on the actual radio, but I have to get out and use the phone because I'm abandoning my cop car. Since he can't see with the sign, I think it's better to drive with this camera so it's more accurate to Cole's experience. Oh God! For car sales. Whoa! All right, we're fine. We're fine. I'm just constantly beeping to warn people I'm in danger. All right, it's going pretty well so far, actually, despite numerous intersections. Merging. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls up to the house, blaring the horn. <laughs> Even in the cutscene. <laughs> That's amazing. That All right, a fake address. Let's go back to the station and interrogate this dude again. You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. I mean, it feels like it. It's like one of the little slots a tank has to drive. You know, you just look through and you can't see anything. You know, my driving is getting... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, it's it's totaled. It's, it's gone. Well, I can't think of a better place to break down than on the tram line, so I'll just leave it there. I mean, it's not even mine anyway. Okay, it's Officer 8-Ball and you're going down, punk. Wait, who the hell are you? James Belasco? Oh, you're a different guy. Okay, my bad. Okay, stolen auto courier. Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Oh, yeah? We'll see what the 8-Ball has to say. Honestly, having trouble reading that expression, whatever the hell that is. Uh, come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Positively. Alright, I believe you, despite that awful grin. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Oh yeah, well my eight ball um, agrees with you. Okay, starting to feel like my eight ball's a little gullible. You had a chance to cooperate, Velasco. What do you mean? We just believed everything he said. There's only one company that prints pink slips in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. The guy I spoke to was Lightvall. Gordon Lightvall. Me and my eight ball will head straight there and ruin all of your hard work, don't worry. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! Go? Okay, I, I gotta find someone? What? Uh, he said a minute down the street, but I don't know where. I love how they parked up my car, the for sale one. All right, let's get going. By the way, I really hope my comments are just filled with eight ball lines. If anyone has an eight ball, please let your eight ball join into the conversation. Just let them comment, okay? Let me know what they say. You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? It's not up to me, ma'am. It's the eight ball that's in control here. Okay, so this is the suspect recorded as selling stolen vehicles. Ma'am, would you have any interest in buying my vehicle? You know, going straight. It's for sale with only minor damage. Can we just get this over with? All right, fine. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, buster. Oh yeah? Well, the eight ball, um, hold on. Uh, the eight ball says, uh, 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 don't bet on it. You're lying, Gene. You want to prove that, buster? Try and prove that pink slip is not real. Uh, I, I don't know how, actually. Um, let me show you this. This is all just a big mistake. Oh, maybe it actually worked. Just let me go. Oh, no, it did not. Okay, but we got another question now. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? Oh, very convincing. What do you think, Gabe Ball? Prospect good. God damn it. Okay, yeah, truth. I told you I don't know him. Don't keep banging on about it. <laughs> I hate that they're getting away with all these obvious lies. You know, that Phelps guy ain't too good at interrogating. Yeah, but there's nothing we could do about it. Why is that? The guy has a magic ball. Legend has it he could banish any of us into it forever to give him answers. In my defense, I think I can get away with stealing this car because it says inquire inside. Like, yes, I would like to go inside and inquire about buying this car. And then there's no one in here to talk to. All right, this place better have answers or at least print me an answer something that i can go back to the chief with and say this plan is working oh my god oh jesus I, i'm driving in cinematic camera hallelujah the man is human after all god damn maniac it makes the crashes very cinematic in my defense i am enjoying it like look at that that's beautiful absolutely beautiful i think i think i just killed three people but yeah let's keep investigating the stolen car we have some questions for you mr lightball what was his name lightball oh he's manager of the printing company okay okay so this is our guy you see him you think we got this sources say no 
All right. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. <laughs> no, he's so obviously lying. But surely, if it's obvious, the eight ball will know. No. Uh, do you want to give me that answer? Okay, um, answer unclear. <laughs> Ask later. Okay, we did say that's doubt. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact... Good, it was the right answer. I was thinking it would be. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. <laughs> no. All right, 8-Ball, what have you got for me? Positively. Okay, telling the truth. You know what? That might be right. He has a stern face on him. Oh, no, he's going to shift the eyes. He's lying. You sure you don't know either of them? Never heard of either, gentlemen. Look at him, he's so smug because he got away with that lie. <laughs> God damn it. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightfall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Oh, no, come on, 8-Ball. Give him some pressure. Pressure him. Chances aren't good. <laughs> damn it. So I asked for his records. He said he doesn't think it's appropriate, and now I'm going to accuse him of lying. I think you're deliberately hiding those records, Lightfall. Cough them up. I'm sorry. What evidence do you have for that? I'm not sure. I don't know how evidence would even fit this. This doesn't make any sense. I guess I'll just show him all the pink slips and hope for the best. Look at his little grin. He's so smug every time. You're making the eight ball feel sad. Look out! Yeah, good warning, dumbass. <laughs> Wait, is this the guy? It is the guy. All right, I gotta get him back for his smugness. Got him. Oh, what? <laughs> It just shunted him out of the way. <laughs> oh, I bet he's such a smug look on his face now. Well, I'll back the truck over him. <laughs> it's just freaking out the other guy. Okay, this'll teach him. No, it doesn't care. All right, I give up. You win, you smug bastard. <laughs> At least he's stuck in my car now. And I can search the office freely. Isn't that a good idea, 8-Ball? Chances aren't good. God, what do you know? Okay, these are the records that he didn't want to hand over, but luckily he's stuck in a car right now, so he can't stop me. I'm just tapping everything with my finger and seeing what feels right. Okay, that apparently. You can call it a detective's hunch, okay? We got a lead. No, he just wanted to touch the book one more time. Okay, between my eight ball and my magic finger, we have definitely got this under control. I think it's this warehouse. Oh, we're so confident on my magic finger. We're going in there with guns. You know, I don't think it's only Cole's fault anymore. I think it's the entire police department for enabling his weird behaviors. Oh, nice jump. That was sick. Why are we even, like, going in here with guns? We have no indication that they'll be hostile or anything. So anyway, I started blasting. The magic finger told me it was all of you. They just... I think he's some psychopath. <laughs> and they're not wrong. He's walking like a feckin' gremlin. He's got insane magic finger. <laughs> he's annihilating them. All right, all right, don't shoot. Oh, I immediately tried to shoot, but it didn't work. I mean, do I really need to look for clues right now? Shouldn't we get someone in here? I dropped the shotgun by his feet. Like, I'm pretty sure we can collect this evidence afterwards, right? We don't need to do it now. We just shot like 12 people out there. Some of them still have a chance of surviving. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. Yeah, you got no way out of this. In fact, if I were you, I'd probably just pick up the shotgun and take my chances. I'm unarmed and my partner back there is asleep. I can't give you anything. All right, he won't deal with me. Then he has to deal with the eight ball. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Okay, that really seems like a lie. But the eight ball disagrees, I'm afraid. So none of these cars are stolen? You just shoot at intruders as a general policy? Well, I think I shot first, actually. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. Yeah, I think he's got a pretty good chance at a lawsuit. <laughs> Wait, he's still arresting him? But I just believed his lie and... and okay, <laughs> that's fine. Someone in the force is common sense. I look at all my fans checking out my hard work. Yeah, I killed like 12 people there. They probably had families and everything. And for my next trick, woohoo! You like that? <laughs> no, you know what? I'm starting to think they're not here for me. Hey, I, I think I see a body. Oh, God damn it. Okay, yeah, that's freaking him out. I gotta get out of here. I, I think his name is Phelps. I've read about him. Oh, no, he knows it was me too. Okay. 
Okay, I'm getting out of here. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. He is projecting hard right now, like I 100% shot first. And we snuck up on them. They didn't even know who we were. We never said we were police or anything. Just realized I am just driving without a destination. Hold on one second. Oh, look at that. I'm going the right way. The eight ball is always looking over me. Honestly, it's, uh, it's kind of creeping me out a bit. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do a little roll for you. Should you like the video? Prospect good. Yes, now you have to do it because the eight ball said, and that's the whole point of the video. All right, we're back to this printer guy. Can I open fire here too, or will the game not allow me? You're under arrest. You again? Oh, this is good too. We get to arrest him. We found a box of pink slips and a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Oh no, this won't even make any sense because it's not even something I can say is the truth. Absolutely. Of course. Absolutely, yeah. You know where the door is. Oh yeah, sorry, sir. Absolutely. Your reputation, your business, you'll be ruined. You'll be lucky to get a job back on the beat once I've spoken to the chief and the mayor. You're the one that should be worried, officer. Oh my god, he's threatening me now. This is the worst thing ever. Hands behind your back. I think I'm just arresting him out of spite right now. With the two GTA suspects we had to let walk free. Oh, no. With the female suspect, GTA. who I am reliably told, slipped the leash with embarrassing ease. The con artists, You just lost the chance to crack away. one of the biggest criminal operations in this city. Look, sir. Uh, the eight ball strategy can work. The chief has my balls in a frying pan! Oh my god, he took your eight balls! I'm so sorry. Please don't take mine. Get me something before I even think about giving you another case. Oh my god, he won't even give us a case. Ah, the bucket and everything. You're scaring the eight ball. The vehicle damage was insane. I probably should have just bought the thing in the end. It would have been cheaper. Injuries, 50 bucks. That's for the captain's new eight balls. I don't think I've ever gotten this bad of a result in LA No War where they literally would not give you another case. HPL to any unit to 459. They're now at 267 South Main. Oh, I don't know what any of those codes mean, but this is our chance to prove ourselves. Us and the eight ball. Ooh. Oh, wait! Benny's give me speed! Oh my god, Cole is after him. He has a point to prove. Apprehend. Oh, hold on one second. Instead of capturing, should I kill the suspect? On. Yes, okay, it's on. Wait, it's not letting me take out my guns. Oh, this... Ah, oh, come on. We gotta do what the eight ball says. All right, he has nowhere else to go. He's just hiding. Walking towards him like some kind of Terminator. Oh, <laughs> You could have just left, dude. I gave you so long. Even now, I'm not fighting back. Can you leave? Why do you keep hitting me, sir? I'm letting you go with a warning. Please stop. Ah! <laughs> what an ending. If the question is, does the eight ball know the answer? I think the answer is no. Sometimes it would appear that way, but our kind have a deeper understanding of life than you could ever know. God damn it, it feels like I've done everything. I'm not sure what else I could come up with for a video. Hey, you think doing LA Noir with one of these things would be a good idea? Very unlikely. <laughs> yeah, probably.